little test drive. No? No test drive? Or test, test put. Just a mile outside of Middleport, Ohio, in a little area that, as you can see, once was a lot bigger. The sidewalks all the way down through here, but nothing here now. I'm across from a general store that was opened back in the 1920s. I am 55 and never, never seen it any different. Used to have the windows until the kids broke it out. But uh, pretty cool old place. It deserves a video. Yeah, I can remember that window right there being in there just four or five years ago. Uh, this was cool. Cash. Cash. It's got the old, whoop. Old light hanging up, the old, I guess, cooler with electric on it. It's probably refrigerated. Isn't that a beautiful design? The, all the woodwork in the back. Yeah, may, maybe somebody didn't tear a brush this in. It might have been just falling in. But I got to get a picture of this. I love that two-tone green. Since 1870. I wonder how old this is. Yeah, they had the racks in there, so this is where they have their meat and stuff. Uh, smoke cool. They're so refreshing. Mel Pouch, Red Man. That's a cool little stool. Over here is our sink. I think this was a bread. What's it say? Rich Low Products. Yeah, I don't remember that kind of bread. If you guys do give me a shout out about it. This don't want to take a walk out back because the deck is pretty bad. You guys see that peeking over in the weeds there? That car's been there, I know, 50 years since I was five or six. Because uh, my dad was always a car guy. Cool little sweeper. And uh, so it's a 50. It's been there probably three times longer than what it was on the road. And it's got spotlight on the sky there who knows it could have been you know somebody made it into a cop car uh, we'll see well, I'll go down there a little now I did a video on this before guys but it's deep down in my videos uh, part one and two because where I went in the bottom of the general store but it's it's gone guys it's gone I mean, there's a lot of parts, but you'll see here in a minute. There's no bringing it back. Good glass. I mean, I don't know who to even get a hold of. This guy right here with all this stuff beside it, he don't know who owns it. Look at that dash. And right there's some good steering wheel. Uh, glass, most of it, the wings are busted. Um, the gauge cluster, the heater, the radio. Look at how cool that. Yeah, I can't get in much more. Look how cool that radio is, guys. All sideways, like they did in the Corvettes. That's cool. Somebody stole the hood at one time, probably for wall art, but it's a complete car looks like you could just pick the grill right up out of there Oop. let's put this back up in there headlight fell out yeah there's the spotlight guys 
I doubt this door will open. Look at that, guys. I'm trying to open the door. I'm pulling the whole side of the car. That's what happens when you set them for over 50 years, guys. <laughs> Pretty darn cool. Yeah, there's... Get out and look, guys. I'm not even off the... On the back road. I'm on the main road, you know. You guys want to see... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me, guys. If you guys want to see... Uh, part one and two. I love this old brick-looking stuff they used to put on the sides. <coughs> like vinyl siding. <clears throat> well, we'll give you a shot down there. Ain't nothing. I know you see, have to go research it. I'd say a lot of good wood. Who knows? Might be fixable. Right along the road. Somebody had boodles of bucks of money. I don't know. That front's really bowing out. Oops piece of history church down there loving the trees starting to turn Rowdy Riviera guys represent as always guys be a boring world please all the same keep being you guys he just made one video uh, old dad's running back garage